Welcome back, everybody. What is this, three days in a row now? It's darn right a... It's just a... Becoming a trend here, I tell you what. Soccer dude, cheesy, welcome. Good to see you guys. You know, when they announced the A-10, like, two days ago or a day ago, yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> hey, Doom Turtle. Quinn Ball, good to see you. You know, they, they did the, uh, they did the, the, the announcement trailer about this, and then, you know, like, the next day, the dev server went live, which is what I'm on. And, uh, you know, they're, they're already testing it. It's, I mean, this thing is, they're accepting pre-orders for it. I, I think that the, the orders were, I think, I think it's 60 bucks. I was surprised that it wasn't more than that, actually. I'll talk more about that in a bit. No, that's not what I wanted. But at least the way they've got it in here right now is it's going to be a, a pack aircraft that you just have to buy. And they do, you know, they, they couch this as an early A-10, which it is. It's an A-10A, so, you know, you got that. But at a 9.7, I've done some flying with it here. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, my problem is that I'm just, I'm not a top-tier tank player. So where this thing is really going to make a difference is in Tank RB. But in Tank RB, I haven't even been able to get enough points to spawn it, so I've been playing Air RB. <laughs> Still been having a good time with it. But uh, I will tell you, the Digital Combat Simulator player world, uh, you know, uh, pl player base, they're, they're going to hate this thing. <laughs> there's going to be there's gonna be even more discussion of, you know, DCS versus War Thunder. And it's just, it's a different flight model. It's, it's a different, it's, it's everything is different so um everything's running okay on my end of things doom turtle bit rate and whatnot so uh I, i'm not sure um but yeah it, it is a it is a pack and the pre-orders right now are up for 60 bucks and um here i'll just we'll have a gander um you can see a whole lot of weapons that are on here um there are opportunities for whoops that's not what i wanted i mean we'll take a look at that here in just a second but the secondary weapons you've got a you know mighty mouse rockets 500 pound bombs uh can't hear anything other than me doom turtle or can't hear anything at all because there is the, the the game music is on in the background but it is very very quiet ostrich good to see you yeah, never thought War Thunder would do this. Yeah, exactly. Quinn, that, that's right. Yeah, a small price to pay for the BERT. And I thought that it would be a lot more expensive. I I, I honestly thought that it would be like 100 bucks. Um. So anyway, we've got, uh, who do we have? A GBU-8, 2,000 pound, big heckin' bomb, 2,000 pound, Mark 84s. I've shot one of those with an F-18 over in DCS. Um, rockets, Sidewinders, Mavericks. Um, so, it is, uh, it is a lot of fun. Um, armor, for anybody curious, you've got, uh, 32 millimeters in the, uh, the titanium bathtub. Uh, kind of surrounding the pilot here. And the front glass, you've got 44 millimeters. So, you know. There's going to be AAA in the game that can shoot right through that as this thing's diving on it. <laughs> yeah. So let's see here. We'll, we'll jump in. We'll just jump straight into Air RB and hope we don't get anything too terrible. But you know what? What, what kind of makes me wonder is, like, what's, what's next? Like, the A-10 has been this legendary thing like are they ever going to add it they couldn't add it it's going to break the game oh my gosh it's going to be incredible but when i think about like ground attack aircraft or or even just aircraft that i would be excited to play in war thunder i think this is it i don't know so you know just just thinking about like what what could be next uh, 
I genuinely don't know. We're just going to go with that that kind of strange loadout that they have. Sidewinders, rockets, dumb bombs, and uh, guided missiles. Because I, I don't want any of this. You know, the fact that you just have to pick and you don't get any sidewinders on any of these other ones is just kind of a pain. Um, the, the sidewinders in here are pretty good, though. So, uh, ground targets is fine, and I'll do flare priority. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, 810 Walrus, absolutely. Woo! We got a lot of people up. I'll tell you, I don't know what's been going on with the dev server, but my ping has been a little bit rough in here. I'm at I'm at 139 ping right now on this dev server, but I mean that is that is not my internet's problem. <laughs> you know? A10A, look at that! <laughs> Franz Kaiser. Doing barrel rolls. I like it. So if you've never played on the dev server or anything like that, these... Oops. There we go. These uh, these aircraft that just have very simple names are AI. You know, Ulbricht back there, and Irvine right there. Superior Soap, and you know, pretty much anybody... Yeah, basically everybody flying the F-84s, like F-86s. They're going to be... Uh, AI. Okay, let's talk about what we got here. First of all, yes, in already developed, very nice cockpit model, functional rudder pedals. Um, yeah, even the throttle works. Throttle down, throttle up. We do have some. Uh, we've got. Radar guided missiles, there you can see a couple of them. And we've got the pod so that we can target those. Plane flies straight and level with these. I mean, all this is new to me. Like, for anybody who's not familiar, I really do not play high tier DCS or high tier War Thunder. So, th I mean, you know, it took me quite a while to get in here and even just figure out the controls. Uh, let's see if we can just lock onto this and uncork a missile. See what happens. There we go. Too far out, probably. Tuvas, good to see you. Conover? Yeah, absolutely. Gotta love the J-Dams. You know, one of my problems with this... Oops, hang on. Switch back out of there. Your controls on the dev server, I had to reset my controls from, like, my regular... The, the dev server is like a separate launcher. It's, it's an entirely separate instance of War Thunder. And so, um, it takes a bit to get it all set up. Let's see here. So, let me see if I can get... Alright, we can unlock that, please. Now, where are we looking? There's a tank right there. Nope, nope, nope. The enemy is winning. No. It doesn't track. I gotta I gotta lock it. Anyway. Whoops. Yeah, plane built around a gun, absolutely. How good the BERT is? It's pretty good. DCS people are going to be disappointed. Why? Whoops. I don't know what's happening with my missiles, but... There we go. We'll go a little... Do some, uh... Sidewinder action here. Abraham, see if we can get Katsu. Uh-oh. Yep, yeah, there we go. 7Gs as an overload, please. A10. That's nothing. I mean, it's no 35Gs like I was pulling in the tailspin event yesterday, but... That's all right. All right, out of sidewinders, but hopefully we got a couple. 
Oh, really? Rugged right there. Rarkin, good to see ya. Yeah, lucky you're not a DCS person. That's right, count over. Yeah, it, it, it's not gonna be a problem for a lot of people. We just, all right, here, here's the bird. It is incredibly effective. The gun even spins up like to start. I don't know if you guys can see that on the stream, just depending on the the fidelity for you. Hey. You've already shot down two of your colleagues. I have no problem bringing the pain. Oh, come on now. I will tell you, the, the bullet drop on this thing just isn't there. I, I suspect they're going to change that. <laughs> Roland, yeah, three streams in one week. I was not, ooh, I was not expecting them to just suddenly open the dev server uh, for for the A10 already. I mean, the, the video, you know, kind of marketing the A10 just went up, basically, just a, a few days ago. A couple days ago. And, uh... Yeah, they're just like, here it is, there you go. Yeah, right after the trailer was released, that's right. You got it. Casey, yeah, I agree, that was a great trailer. All right, unguided rockets, here we go. Mm -hmm. There are some heavy-hitting rockets. I have managed to explode myself using the rockets. Where are the vehicles? Oh, no, nope, nope, just some more. Franz is over there doing some good things against the 262. You get him, Franz. All right. Did we never use any of the guided missiles? I guess not. Let's see if we can get one here. All right, where is somebody? The, the zoom on this thing is just incredible, so it can be a little bit disorienting to even find what it is. There's, there's something. All right, even find what it is that you're looking at. There we go. Boom. I have not used missiles in War Thunder before. Totally not my, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I posted on Twitter that, you know, A-10 pilots thinking about that, uh... Oops. Tried to use the unguided bombs. No unguided bombs. Absolutely, we have unguided bombs. A couple 2,000 pounders hurt me at even the altitude that I was at there. Whoops. As you can see, the plane is pretty darn red down in the corner there, but, uh, not good. Oh, we're losing. We definitely have lost rudder function. We have no rudder function at this point. Oh, but we can still roll. Psh, this is, this is nothing. Do we have elevator function? We do not. We do not have elevator function. Okay. We have roll function, though, so... <laughs> There are landing challenges everywhere. Let's see. <laughs> we have no no back of the aircraft control at this point. Not good. Yeah, free target practice. Absolutely. Yeah, and I've got flaps. Yep. At least I think I do. I don't know. Let's see. I think they're still functional. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got flaps. Good. And the air brake on this thing. I would show it, but oh, boy. I'm getting a little wobbly out here. That's all right. Here it is. Here's the air brake. Boop. It is either open or it is closed, and it is pretty darn effective. So that's good. Franz is out heading back to land. <laughs> yeah, I hope everybody's having a great evening. I was not planning on streaming this again tonight after I did Tailspin yesterday, so <laughs> yeah. Asymmetric flap extension. I feel like we got bigger issues than that, but you know, really... And the damage model is there on the plane. Um, 
it doesn't look that bad, frankly. So I don't know. Whatever. Go. We're just gonna. We're gonna. Boy. You know the problem with Air RB. Uh, is just how long things take if you're not supersonic. You know. So here we'll just. We'll just throw the rest of the heavy bombs out of here. That thing. I'm not even familiar with what that thing is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there it was. Let's see, and then we got the two 2,000 pounders here, which I think that other one that I just dropped is also a 2,000 pounder. We're wrecking Mother Nature. Ah, oh, gosh. I lost him on the fall. There they went. Okay, no problem. We're lined up with the runway. We're just going to barrel roll it in. As someone familiar with munitions, you didn't know either, Caster? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm unclear on what that is. I'll go back to it. I think they called it like a, a GBU-8 or something like that. All right. I don't want to start reducing speed, frankly. There we go, pulling back up a little bit. Well, I mean, not using the tail of the plane, of course. It is a guided bomb. Yeah, Carl, I, I figured. I just, I had never seen one that looked like that. Friends, if you could shoot me down in a friendly fire accident, that'd be great. Because if I crash this thing, it's not going to be available. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Upside down, sh dropping flares. That was awesome. Okay. See if the gear will go down. Good. Gear down. We barrel roll to lose altitude. High speed retract gear. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We got one wheel left. Flaps to landing. Air brakes out. Here we go. See, if we still had... Oh, no. Oh, no active players left on the hostile team. Right as I go down. <laughs> That'll be fixed in 35 seconds. That'll be fixed. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I did not nail that. <laughs> yeah, probably best to jettison the uh, ordinance before that type of a catastrophic landing. <laughs> ah, that's all right. Um, yeah, I don't I don't need the premium thing for this. Oh gosh. So on the dev server since they're not really worried about like the grind like all the research and everything is like half price or no it's it's times five yeah five x bonus to the research and and with the the golden lions but none of this transfers over to the to the full um to the full account so yeah here it was uh let's see here what was it it was uh yeah this um echo de waffle with the follow welcome Welcome to the channel. 2,000 pound. Yeah, GBU-8. Yeah, that's just a Mark 84. Mark 84, yeah. So that's what it's got to be. I don't know. I don't know. I am happy, though, that the A-10 is still available to get back out there. Let's give it a shot. You know, oh gosh. Um, I would hit cancel, but it's going to be irrelevant. There's another vehicle that's in this this uh, this upcoming update. It's like an LAV AD or something. And man, I've gone up against that thing. Yeah, right there, LAV AD. That thing is incredible. Seventy millimeter launcher cannon, I guess. I don't know, twenty-five millimeter. It it was ridiculous. Uh, Kellum with the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Anybody just happens to be here for the BERT, I'm primarily a YouTube content creator. Make lots of videos about the BERT. Oh, uh, no. This is going to be one of those huge battles where it's like, attack the bombers at, you know, F5 or whatever. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> the lav ad. Sounds epic. I feel like somebody had posted that it was... 
I, so it's it's scary looking, frankly, uh, in combat against it. It it killed me a lot. That one guy, the one guy driving that thing, killed me. I think four times. I never got enough points to even spawn the A10 when I, when I was playing against that guy. All right, so we've got probably probably just two of us live here. Orange fan with the raid. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's having a great evening. We're checking out the uh, A10 on the War Thunder dev server. This, uh, the A10 is gonna be coming to War Thunder in the- Oh no! Friendly shoot down. Alright, Jolin. Cool, cool. <laughs> Panther with the follow. Thank you, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, so A10's coming. It's a 9.7 is what they've got it at right now. And it is only... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, rip. Dang it. Yeah, that was a War Thunder moment. 9.7 and it is a a purchase pack. You have to you have to buy it. Right now I think they've got it up for they they describe it as for pre-purchase at 60 bucks. And uh you know, I don't know if it's actually discounted or what, but it's not something that you grind to um so just be aware. But I did I'll I'll hop in and take a look at this thing real quick. What was it? I won't get into the details about what happened, but I didn't I didn't get access to all of the new vehicles. I only got access to the A10 cuz they forgot to send me something. But this this is that thing. This is this is the LAVAD that was absolutely crushing people in in the mission that I was in before. 25 mm uh GAU 12 uh smoke grenades and then uh, it's got stingers. And that thing was was killing tanks left and right. What's the speed on this puppy? Oh, I mean, 247 horsepower. That's not bad. I mean, it's it's armor isn't great, but we just we were dead before we could even see it. It was yeah, it was fast. So anyway, I mean, Fly will do, Fly will do very you know great videos about all this stuff at some point. But I'm just partaking in some distinctly mediocre A10 gameplay at this point. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's the A10 model at this point, Carl, uh, and they do describe it as early uh, in this, you know, oops, uh, A10A, and they, you know, they, they call it early up at the top up here, um, and so I, I suspect that that's, you know, the C model will be along at some point, no doubt. Casey with the five community sub gifts, excellent, thank you very much, Casey, I really appreciate it. By golly, and uh, congratulations to uh, Rubix, uh, Big Jim, <laughs> Big Jim's still lurking around here, Rarkin, uh, Computer Techie, and Soccer Dude. Congratulations, everybody, and really, thanks for the support, Casey. I, I, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Anything new for the Brits? I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't end up getting... Uh, like access to everything that's new so I didn't I didn't get like a list um, hopefully I'll get that tomorrow this dev server is open until Sunday I believe so hopefully it'll be it'll be up I'm not sure yeah I, I appreciate it hoping that the uh, tech tree a10 goes after the f105 yeah that could be <laughs> you live here Rube charges your rent <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. All right. Pretty good, pretty good little model here. You can see the tires spinning there. If you've, I mean, assuming my stream has high enough fidelity, I don't know. I'm recording this as well, so if we have a good match or something, I'll kind of splice it up like I did for some of the enlisted videos that are over on the channel. Yeah, um,. General, they also uh, posted a direct link to it um, over on Twitter. They said basically, if you you know if you want to get into the dev server, you know here's what you got to do. So that's pretty cool. All right, what are we even doing here? I was not paying attention. Um, okay, good. We're gonna have some ground targets. Get to use the Mavericks a little bit here if we want to. I think they're Mavericks anyway. I forget. I, I'm I'm bad with missiles. That's what. This is why I'm a guns only dogfighter most of the time. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. 
Hope everybody's having a great evening. Friday evening here in the United States. I actually streamed War Thunder last night. They've got the uh, tailspin event going on. Streamed that for, I don't know, a couple hours. And that was a... Uh, it was a good time, but I was a little bit, I don't know. I was i was hoping there would be more. Yeah, they are Mavericks. Awesome. Thanks, Caster. I appreciate it. I, yeah, yeah. Tailspin's up right now, Casey. Uh, and uh, it sounds like your unlocks from last time continue over. And, um, yeah. So, oh, so here, yeah, we'll get the... From... I uh, I heard the Burt on the ground in a tank RB battle, and it, it was it was pretty awesome. And let's see here, we'll get the. That is, that's pretty good. Pretty good sound right there from my my uh, perspective there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got bogeys. Let's see if we can get locked onto something here first. What do we have? What do we have? Hmm? Where is everybody? I mean, a missile on a bunker. I don't even, oh, there it goes. Switch up to the sidewinder here. CL-13. I don't even, I can't even envision what that is. But we're going to make it dead. Hopefully. It looks like it's just an AI plane anyway, so I don't even feel bad. Good. Let's see, let's see what the GAO-8 does to planes in War Thunder. Oh! <laughs> oh, Saber, okay. Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's why you use short bursts. Too much more just would have been a waste right there. Still flying. That is some some resolute resolute AI pilotage right there. German saber, okay, gotcha. Um let's see. 262 lurking around up there. We still got rockets and dumb bombs. Let's go up here and do some things with some stuff. Air brake out. Cut the throttle. Oh boy. We might not be able to get this. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Oh boy. The uh, nose over, like the elevator action, um, is not as not as responsive as I would have thought. But who knows? That might just be <laughs> me being bad. Yeah, when the when the Gow 8 connects, it connects. I can't look at an A-10 these days without envisioning Santa, you know, slinging presents out of this thing. Someday, next next Christmas, we're gonna have to mod like the uh, mod DCS. Whoops, mod DCS or something. And get uh, get the uh, Gow 8 present delivery mechanism in here. I'm too close. I'm not even going to be able to find them. Yep, that's all right. I still got a bunch of bombs on the wings here. Let's get rid of some of these. Sure don't see any tanks at this point. 500 pounder, 500 pounder, probably another 500 pounder. Ooh, no, one of those might have been a 200. Come on, oh, there we go, gosh darn it. 2,000, no, they were all 500s, okay, good. Let's see what we can do. The huge barrel extending out the bottom of the sleigh. <laughs> Uh, poisonous? You want to see more ATC content? Great! Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll tell you, the, those those videos have not gotten many views on the YouTube channel recently, but uh, I, I definitely will. I'm probably going to do one that's just like, no explanation, it's just ATC Pro, and it's just like a standard shift, you know? 
just kind of here's what it looks like and you know here's your shift briefing and all that sort of thing and Ooh, all right that was just a hit by golly Let's see how that goes yeah conover oh no 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 i don't need to jay out of my aircraft i could totally fly this okay i mean we got armament hanging around over there that's weird we're totally we're fine this is fine oh all right <laughs> dang it now conover i i mentioned in a i did a full throttle review of santa's sleigh and I suggested that maybe he should just fly an A-10 instead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that the like the the math behind the number of houses that he would have to visit and that sort of thing, even with one bullet like equaling one house, he was going to have to fire for like eighty-four thousand days or something like that. <laughs> Car lover with the uh, follow, welcome to the channel, uh, and uh, Nico or Nacho, uh, welcome. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Let's see. I'll jump back in there. I'm pretty excited, but um, you know my my problem, and and it's just it's just my problem with uh, with War Thunder is you know Tank RB is where it's going to be at for the A10. Um, but you know Casey mentioned it earlier at least with with jet stuff you know it's so it's so sweaty i think that was you Casey anyway um but it is uh you know for for a filthy casual like me i i'm never even going oh, to this, this is a weird camera what is happening back here we're like at an angle i don't even know we're getting waterboarded right here that's what's happening all right <clears throat> there we go um, so we'll just, we'll just have to see. Oh, mention, mention the sweat first. Got it. Sorry. My mistake. Um, but you know, I, I'm just, this would be a waste of money for me because if I put it in my lineup, I'm going to automatically go up to, you know, battle rating 9.7 where I'm going to get stomped by players who have been playing nothing but, you know, 9.0 and above. And, um, you know, it just, it just. This would be a waste of money for me. Um, so I probably will not be getting it. But that's okay. It is undoubtedly fun. But, you know, if you if you do have, like, a lot of area to cover... I mean, hang on. How, how far are we talking? Oh, gosh. It's going to take me a long time to get to the battle. <laughs> that's all right. Till you get into close air support, Casey. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I enjoy close air support, but you know the just War Thunder, and I mean it was happening to me yesterday too on the tailspin thing. You know, people are somehow magnetically attached to the back of your plane, and I, that was on arcade though, for for the record. So, uh, but yeah, Golden Treks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> mock, mock point zero zero one. And I can't, I haven't done the exact math, but that might be like a brisk walk, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me neither. That's one of the reasons I've been enjoying Enlisted, because it's the same sort of like low tier vehicle combat. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, there's not as many people playing it, and the people who are. So in Enlisted, you know, you control a squad, so you, a live person... Whoa. Excuse me. Uh, whoa. All right, we're good. No problem. No problem. We'll cut some power. We'll cut some power. That'll put itself right out. I feel like it's not going to put itself out. Uh, come on. Oh, we lost tail control again. Interesting. They... They really make it easy to lose tail control the way the plane is developed right now. F-104, goodness gracious. Wow, that thing, oh jeez. <laughs> that was incredible. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, it, it, seem, it seems like the, uh, you're losing tail control really fast in this, which is like one of the things the A-10 is famous for is it's multiple systems of redundancy. So I don't, 
I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about any of that. Good, we unlocked the F4. Great. Do I have to order it? Sure, I'll order it. Why not? Oh, I gotta purchase the other one first. That's just fine. Golden tracks with the follow. Welcome to the channel, Golden. Uh, for anybody who happens to be new or just particularly interested by the, uh, the Burt stream, I'm primarily a YouTube content creator. Let's see here. Yeah, dude's going straight for kills on the dev server. That that has been the man tank RB. That's all it was. It was it was crazy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I got you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we've been in the Discord for a while. Golden, awesome. That's great. Unfortunately, I have not been around much. Hopefully I'll be able to, I don't know, at some point, doing, uh, ooh, that's interesting, SU-7, unfortunately doing, you know, content creation and working full-time in a family and everything, it's just run out of time in the day, you know, I can keep up with it, where's my tow cable? Can you tow me, please, sir? Sir? All right. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> the A-10, a gun with a few engines. You know, I did that short video about, like, trying to do a... <laughs> trying to do a, uh, a, a fully loaded takeoff uh, with only one engine in the A-10. And the number of commenters who didn't finish the video and clearly just, you know, stopped, like, paused the video and, like, you, you're, you're ridiculous. This would never work. The second engine is there for redundancy or, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. How dare you? <laughs> it's like, the, the video is 59 seconds long, okay? Finish the video once before, <laughs> before you post a comment about how stupid I am. <laughs> It was, uh, it was incredible. That one more than any other that I've done has gotten, uh, you know, people, people telling me why it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. I, I'm aware. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's okay. Yeah, Alpha? <laughs> <laughs> Victory indeed. Ooh. Targeting. Tar targeting. This is our zeroing ring here for our laser designator. All right. Oh, there's something. All right. I got to get I got to get better perspective here. Okay. So to the left. There we go. Okay, so can we, can we lock it while it's moving? Would that be okay? Is that gonna work for you? Nope. Oh, come on now. All right, we'll go for a stationary target. There we go. Still out of range. Yeah, that's okay. I better start paying attention to what's going on around me. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of space. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that might have been a sidewinder I just uncorked for no reason. Oh, no, no. That was, that was, uh... Oh, yes, it was. Shoot. Oh, no. No, no, that was the, uh... That was the Maverick. Listen, not being, not being used to missile gameplay, I'm not confident on my, uh commands here yeah no, I'm not doing well with the Maverick but that's okay cuz I got an armored column in front of me and while it's not 40 miles long it'll do all right There's an aircraft over there we could 
take out if we wanted to. We definitely will. Can't launch the uh, anti-air without a lock. Okay, so that was that was anti -air, uh, air to ground that I fired them. All right, there you go. Air break out. Dumb bombs. <laughs> that was a very satisfying plunk, plunk, plunk of bombs right there. 40 miles, 4 clicks. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it, it's, it's rounding. It was a rounding error. Okay. That's a, that's a live player in the F-86 right there. That's interesting. Excuse me, was someone just... Are you actually... In a Kika, huh? Well, you know what? I suspect that the Kika is weak to 30 millimeter freedom. Alright. I thought that was a player initially. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I thought we had him. Whoops. Got off of got off a home row there for a second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even wasn't even trying to get that one. You know the the Gow 8, the business end of the Gow 8 just attracts enemies. It's crazy. And and Oh, oh man, we got half the wing blown off right there. This thing is good at removing wings. Anybody else back there? I haven't even used my sidewinders yet. All right, where do where do all those tanks go? <laughs> yeah, I think that's correct. It was definitely not a fair fight. Make no make no mistake. Although, let's see, anybody else looking like they're coming for me? Nope, okay, good. What do we still have? We still got three 2,000 pound hits of regret right here. Let's see, all right, air break out. We gotta get, get slower so we can get the nose over. Ooh. All right, only one out of that. I got three kills with the light bombs. Three three bombs, three kills with the 500 pounders, but the, the three 2,000 pounders, I only, <laughs> only managed one kill. Yeah, you know, with this, they, uh, it's it's all just AI, so I think they kind of put out, you know, some, some easy planes to, to kind of destroy, just so people have fun on the dev server. When they're not getting wrecked by tryhards, you know. Nothing? Nothing on any of that? Alright. That, uh... I'm gonna... <laughs> one of these days, I'm just gonna fly around and try to, like, protect my AI... My AI co uh, colleagues, you know. My AI teammates. AR-234. I think it's 30 millimeter proof. Gonna run out of ammo here pretty soon. I don't even know what. Ha oh wow, we're fine. Suffrage damage of the right wing. You going down? No. That didn't even. That didn't even appear to damage the plane at all. Hang on. To what ridiculous extent can we take this? <laughs> boy oh no oh 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 all right once again not a lot of damage good to go all right coming back around that thing actually might be able to outrun me yeah classic a10 <laughs> survived the ramming we're up to two at this point 
If the A-10 doesn't kill it with its gun, it's gonna kill it with its body. See if we can just knife edge through it, you know? Oh, man. All right. That's okay. One of these days, one of these days. See, I think, it, I mean, that may be the Gao-8 reticle. You, you, you could be right. But in looking at that, I think that's the rocket. Like where the rockets are going. Because I've got, I've got rockets in right now. And that's about where the rockets are going. So, I don't know. Oh. There's a single hit. We'll just soften it up a little. Oh, jeez. All right. I didn't even... That one wasn't even intentional. That one, Hey. Oh, really? Jack? Sure would be a shame. Oh. Yeah, when that thing connects, you can just arc some rounds out there, too. So, I'll, I'll tell you, the, uh, the bullet drop-off in this... <laughs> is nothing like the bullet drop-off in DCS. Which is great. I mean, just, you know, for anybody who's familiar with both, I'm not I'm not complaining, I'm just observing. The, uh, the, the bullet drop-off that you would expect in DCS would be something like that, uh, that secondary cross. Secondary targeting reticle, rather. By the way, how many heckin' rounds do I have here? This is ridiculous. I mean, I'm excited about it, make no mistake. I thought that I had it set up so that it would show my... Oh, boy. Youch. All right, all right. What are we up to now? Four, four tanks and four planes? I still got two missiles. Who else wants some? <laughs> Yeah, 30 millimeter bullet drop is crazy in Arma as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's just hope. Oh, I mean, he's on fire. You'd think the heat seekers could get him. And that is why you fly low. All right. Going down anyway. 8G, 7G overload? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you just hold down the trigger until it tells you you're low. <laughs> that's the that's the key. You know, I've been shooting in short bursts here, and if you this guy this guy just seems to be a bit of a a bit of a hooligan, so let's just see what we can do here. Crank it sidewinder cranking. Ah oh, no, it didn't didn't have it. I got another one. <laughs> I mean, this is all just AI. Keep in mind, anyone who's impressed with what I'm doing here sh should not be. <laughs> this is this is AI. I am. Oh well, I mean, this guy missed. You know, dodged two of my missiles. So there we go. And 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 you know I'm fighting against an aircraft from like 1947 I think was when the Saber was first built. I did a full throttle about that thing. It's like one of my favorite videos on the channel at this point. That, that review just came together really well. So this guy's just gonna keep looping. He's just gonna keep looping until I blow something off of your plane, huh? All right, well, if that's what it takes. Oh, yeah, something, something got blown off of his plane. You can definitely outclimb me in this sort of situation, but you're not gonna outclimb my bullets. Oh, all right. No active players left on the hostile team. We win. We win. All oh, yeah, there were two of us. There were two. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, the CL-13 was 50 to 58? Gotcha. Gotcha, car. That's awesome. I think the first of the uh, F-86s flew in, like, 1947 or something like that. 
Canned, I have not, but I will tell you that on my very first flight of this, I tried to land it on the carrier in the, uh, <laughs> in the, the, you know, test environment thing, the, the, the test flight. And, uh, I didn't, I did not quite make it. It was close, but I did not. So we'll get that. We'll get, maybe, maybe that's how we'll end this evening. We'll, we'll land this thing. There we go. See, and one thing, man, I tell you what, this, this is great. The wing spar, the way that they've built it is it's in three different pieces, spar, spar, spar. So that tells me you're going to be able to fly if you lose the wing out to there. And you might be able to fly sometimes if you lose the wing up to there, you'll still have at least some control. I mean, if they wreck that wing spar, you know, your fuel tank's on fire and it's going to be bad, but. The way they split up the wing spars here tells me this thing should be, you know, able to be flown with damage. But, you know, here it is. Yeah, traction control surfaces. It's one system. It looks like it's just one system anyway. I mean, this would explain why we were having such trouble losing. Well, I mean, they've got at least some redundancy there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know. Because, the, I mean, these things sure felt like they were getting knocked out pretty darn fast with not a lot of damage. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's not even, it, yes, it, it is a premium, you were right. Um, but it's, it's not even something you can buy with Golden Eagles the way that it's described right now. It's, it's cash. It's, it's in a pack. You have to buy it through a pack. And then what was it? This thing's coming out too, but this 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 will be grindable. I mean, a 10.0, and this this thing was incredible. That would be, you know, if you're if you like, you know, quick ground gameplay, just blitzing around and shooting people with that 25 millimeter cannon. That was a lot of fun. Let me turn this thing off so you guys can see it. And it's a pretty cool looking little vehicle right there. A10C is going into the tech tree. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Yeah. Okay. Let me get. Uh, do, 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 do. But I, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked. What else is new to this? You know, I, I'm not gonna. Well, here, hang on. What is something showing up as like? What is that? Objective available. I don't even know what that means. Well, anyway. Okay. We'll get back. We'll get back out there. I can embarrass myself. I will embarrass myself with one ground RB. My my piddly T54 and M901. But I'll actually have access to a uh, to an Abrams here once we get out there. So we'll see what happens. Big Jim, have a great evening. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good weekend. I'll probably stream again at some point, but uh, have a good weekend if I don't see you. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll take out. We'll take out the Abrams. I'm just looking for relatively few points where I might be able to do something. Oop. Excuse me, Gepard. Pardon me. Somebody rolling out in a. S oh, oh, that's that's AI. Sherman 76 right there. Clumsy duck. Radioactive T. I've seen that person before. Um, let's see. I am not familiar with this map, so... I'm just gonna drive. Aardvark, it's middle of the afternoon for you. Ooh. Whoops. I definitely... Oh, there we go. All right. Lucky I saw this guy explode or I wouldn't even have known they were there. And I'm not totally sure where that came from. Ah. Well, then get him conscious. Conscious. Okay, that's gone. Was there something else that was shooting us over here? I'm 
just gonna I'm going to use this this tank carcass as cover in an extremely confident way and not at all as though I'm just just terrified and trying to hide from everybody with my two alive tank crew at this point I should have thermals yeah, I don't know I don't know anything about any of that so I'm just I'm, I'm good oh hello there ricocheted we ricocheted a sabo got him with the 50 I had the last laugh he knows he knows not to mess with me. <laughs> I'm not sure that he does know that, actually. Let's see. Hostile team, Cap'n. Great. Can't still be sitting there, is he? No, okay, good. Well, I mean, I wish... Oh... Well, we got a kill, so can we get the A-10? Do we have enough for the A-10? Ah, ah, 70 points short, dang it. Um, what do I want to bring out here? Whatever it is, we're going to die. I mean, if I didn't get enough kills with the Abrams, then I'm going to spend more points than I'm ever going to feasibly get with this other vehicle here, so that's okay. Yeah, combined arms, uh, high alpha. I I haven't played it, but I've heard that it's uh, oh, oh bombing bomb bombing spawn with the A10. A10 wouldn't do that, sir. You 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 slander the A10's name. I do not have my helicopter controls set up on this, so I'm not even gonna not even gonna waste time with the uh, with a helicopter. Uh. Oh, are we going to be on the business end of some Bert here? Yep. I thought he dropped some bombs right there for sure, but it must be out. Oh. I'm not even sure what that was that just looped over me there, but something. There we go. Oh, who got him from where? Hmm? Nope, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was a pretty good engine sound, right? Oh yeah, okay. Just a shot from across the map, cool. Alright, well, this... There you go. This is... Oh. Where is it? Somebody's rocking a Panther G up here today. Oh. Oh, good. That, that same bad guy got me. <laughs> you guys were making fun of people for being sweaty going for kills in Air RB. I mean, Tank RB is... Ground RB is even worse. Look at this guy. He's he's sitting next to our spawn, shooting into our other spawn. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, could make a cool beat out of the A10 uh, A10 Burr. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. Oh no 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 no! Not to battle. No. Oh whew, boy. Got that, got that canceled in time. That is rare. You know, usually you hit two battle, immediately cancel it, and it's like, oh, you're joining already. Sorry. And if you try to leave early, then you're out of luck, you know. Oh, dang it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll do another another battle or two here maybe, but am I going to perform the walrus trials on the War Thunder A-10 intravenous bacon? <laughs> First of all, good to see you. And yeah, yeah, we'll definitely try landing it on a carrier here. Probably. I mean, you know, hang on. That, that actually reminds me. I need to make sure that I've got the, the controls correct for the brakes. That aircraft is definitely 
going to be a problem if we hit it. Yep, brakes. Good. There we go. Okay. How you doing? It's a boy. You good? Oh, gosh. Excuse me. You know what? We're doing it. I have I have previously taken one of these off just like this. My engines are still functional, sir. I have no control surfaces. Oh, all right. Well, that was cool. It's a boy. That was awesome. Very cool. <laughs> and now I just have to return. I don't. E I don't even get another one. Oh well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Carriers in uh, War Thunder. I mean, they're not. They're not um, modern ones that I'm aware of. The only ones that I know of are World War II carriers. Do we still get to use the plane again? Okay, good. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. There are some modern ones in the test flight range. Yeah, War Thunder, exactly. That was... <laughs> but, but, you know, if you think about it from War Thunder, like from the dev side... What can they do about that? You know, like disabling friendly fire? I mean, maybe while you're like on the runway or near your base or something, but you know, you can't, you can't forever. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you just got, you know, bad, you gotta, you got bad people out there. Oh. F-105, A-10, A-10s, A-10s all around. Everybody in an A-10 is a real player, and, and Thick Turtle definitely is too. <laughs> That's a great name. Formation takeoff. We're the, we're the, what's what, uh, I, I don't even know. We're the Blue Angels of ground attack aircraft. Oh jeez. Somebody starts shooting the gun right off the ground. How is he going so f Oh, he doesn't have much of an armament. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is pretty fast when it doesn't have a lot of bombs and stuff attached to it. <laughs> A-10 demo team. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've seen them. Green Devils. I like it. It is a pretty good aircraft model, and the the A, you know, the A model has that little thing hanging off the the cheek by where the pilot sits. That should be gone when the C model comes around. But I actually, I like that on the A models. I, I just, I always thought that was a just a cool feature. I don't know, um, unique. Cut some power a little bit. Uh, Randy, one twenty one with the follow. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, Casey, I, be I believe so. Yeah, canned. You recognize that uh, that little the jowl, if you will. That's what told you what model it was. Yeah, absolutely. Coben Rivers. Good to see you, Coben. There it is. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I got. I, I'll do you one better. There it is. Can you match it? Can you match it? All right. <laughs> Let's see. These things are probably too far away for me to really be able to do anything. Yeah, A10 for the win. But uh, no, it's. I mean, it's a pretty good, pretty good model. It looks pretty. Oh, there you go, Johnny. Well done, Corbin. <laughs> I feel like these guys are probably, you know, flying team people or something. <laughs> got a because I was inverted moment happening right here. Oh, we got bogeys. We'll try and do some. We'll try and do some uh, air to ground first, and then, and then we'll clean up the skies. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Uh, 
All right. Oh, you know what? I should have been. I should have been trying to lock up something with some things. Um, there's one. Why not? Uh, we'll go. Beep. Nope. And let loose the missiles of war, please. Please. There we go. Okay. So that'll be one. How can we roll out so we get a look at a line of bad guys here? Yeah, there's the missile hit. Just took a little while. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Awful lot of light targets cruising around out here right now. Oops, I think I just... I think I dropped a bomb. My mistake. Definitely damaged. You've got more damage to the tail. Shocking. Nobody's surprised about any of that. Okay. Zombie killer just took out a bunch. Just kind of fly right down their line here. It does not seem like they have a lot of uh, anti-air you know, options. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ah, oh, it happened. The Pave Penny Pod is present on the A10C and DCS, but not the C2. Really? I didn't know that, Bacon. Interesting. Yeah. It is a beautiful plane. I mean, except for when I crash it miserably like that. But, you know, these things happen. Uh, Jesus Hernandez. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Uh, oh, and uh, Karma content as well. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Lovely Friday evening stream here. I streamed DCS yesterday with their tailspin event that's still going on. And I just I was not expecting the... Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta wait three, three minutes. Okay, you know what? While it's doing that, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go heck and land this thing on a carrier. The problem... The problem is that you there's no good way to look out the front of the aircraft on approach to the carrier. You pretty much have to use like this view and I, I do not like using that view. So I don't know, we'll either do it in third person, which I also don't like using, but this, when you're on approach to the carrier, since you can't like change where you're, you know, your head, you can't like lean forward. It is, uh, it is darn tricky to land on this carrier over here. All right. Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. We got a bad guy to take care of over here first. Nope, I don't want to go, I don't want to go no speed. Let's see. V and straight down where is it sitting over there somewhere but there should be another couple of them over here probably too far yep too far there we go so, oops Ooh. farewell oh no Oh, we were too close to it. All right. Well, now what we can do, head over to that carrier. Whoa, boy. Here you go, Boonji. You can see it's got a pretty darn Pretty effective spread there. That sounds pretty good too. Okay, good. Speed down, there we go. We gotta we gotta slip just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna have to we'll just we'll just make a quick quick circle to final over here. Circle to final. Yeah. <laughs> it was the gravitational pull of the gun that kept the ordnance there when the wing got blown off. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, no, I... 
I think you're right. Probably just don't even want my flaps on landing yet. Okay. When I did this in DCS, I think I was crossing the threshold at like 125 knots, but I could also lean forward so I could see it, you know? There it is. Gotta keep our speed up. Because we don't want to fall out of the sky too much. 32 feet off the ground. 33, 4. Forty-four. I, I don't know what the deck height is here. I would in real life. Oh, 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 come on now. Come on now. Ah, dang it. Our, uh, our wheels broke off. Oh, just one wheel. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. You know what I needed to do? I probably needed the uh, air brake. I needed to throw the old air brake on there at the end. We'll get there. Uh, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. I did this. I did this in the rain in DCS with full ordnance. We're we're doing it. Right. Hi, Alpha. Since since when did wheels breaking off stop the stop the A10? Never. It's just it's, this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's the least the least realistic thing they could have included in this game. I am offended. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, I'm gonna stay nice and low. Autopilot has taken over at this point. There we go. At least I hope it has. We'll give it some more power just in case. Cause it sure sounds like we're falling. Fire missile. Oh, you missed? Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, yeah, gonna have, we could we could use the old the old uh, the old gun break, no doubt. I try not to do that in my landing challenges, you know. I rely on practical advice for unusual operations in atypical situations, you know. So don't want to be too cheesy here. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, all right. This is good. This is actually good. This thing will this thing will roll on you if you're not careful. Yeah, let's see. See, you just you can just see nothing from this view. That's okay. Oh boy. What's my, my status? <laughs> Some of the discussions these guys have. Kind of ridiculous. Gravity is too afraid of the gun. I like it. <laughs> All right. We're, we're good here. We're just too fast. So we know we're going to have to slow down. I will point out that the HUD, the HUD like uh, altitudes are and speeds are correct. I, uh, I didn't realize that before, but that was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't want my flaps up. I mean, sure, we're 12 meters off the ground right now, but I didn't want the flaps up. Flaps down, by golly. 172 knots, there we go. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, you know what? We're fine. Perfect. Kind of sling, a little bit of a slingshot there. All right, we're get, we're just gonna do it in third person view. Yudachi, good to see you. 
We are just going to do third person. I don't feel I don't feel good about it. But we would I got too high there and we clipped the wing on the uh, carrier antenna. I just ugh. Ugh. The plane built around the gun is to cover up the conspiracy about how the gun can fly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Experimental quad color camo. Yeah. There is head movement controls in there somewhere. Well, I am not going to be able to figure them out. It'll be some other button combination. I'm fl I am flying using a uh, mouse and keyboard. Okay, let's see here. I forget what the speed is for the gear, but we should be okay at one... 190. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Head movement is just up and to the sides. Yeah, see what I need to do is like have the pilot lean forward so I can look over the dash better, you know. Um, and I mean, to be to be clear, like if you were flying an aircraft that had a hook on it, your approach would look a lot more like this. Um, but, you know, we need to be coming in pretty darn low and slow so that we can get wheels on the deck faster and hopefully get stopped. I want to try and do it in first person if at all possible. Just wait to see the carrier. Uh oh, too low. Oh uh, no! Oh wow. A-10's fine. A-10 doesn't even care. Yeah. That's, that's, you know what that is? That is a successful flight. Plane will be repaired in two minutes. Look at that. Look at the bottom. That was a successful landing. First one ever. First one ever. Two minutes for that crew to, to fix this plane. I mean, that's, if, if my, if my uh, landing a Huey on an oil rig in a thunderstorm, I mean, <laughs> gliding a Huey onto a oil rig in a thunderstorm, if that counted, then this this counted. You can see the gun spinning up there too. That's pretty awesome. We're just reminding the people back on that island, like, hey, you're still functional. Be back later. You know what? I mean, we're gonna have to sit this out and see if we can take off from the carrier. <laughs> It's probably, I can't imagine that it's going to put the A-10 back on the carrier here to respawn. And if it does, it's certainly not going to be at the back, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, wheel, wheels on the deck, wheels on the deck, go round and round. I mean, I wish they would go round and round. The wheels on the deck in this particular instance really went more like, I don't even know. They smashed into that and then they just fell in the ocean. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> the people on the island be like, what the dog doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it, uh, Boongie. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm going to... If it respawns me on the carrier, I think we'll be able to get airborne. But the problem is... Well, my takeoff flaps might do it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Quick reminder, island people. Look at how far those that goes. Any DCS players, look at how far those are going. Because it does not go that far. Oh, oh, boo, boo. What kind of travesty was that? All right. You guys want me off your carrier so bad? I'm coming back. Last try. This is this is the last one. Let's see here. And then we'll jump back into a Yeah, I can't I can do a break from here, but I don't have the uh, I don't have the hook. So it's going to be it's going to be tough. And not being able to even click around like my head like I can in DCS. This is this is gonna be 
this is going to be tricky. But I mean third person. This is, this is already much, much easier. I won't say easier. Less challenging. Probably still difficult. Brakes, brakes, air brake, come on, ooh, nope, all right. That's okay, look out for the ship. Can you guys at least stop the ship? Can you turn off the engines? You got people in the water. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, I mean, if we dumped all the ordnance and made the plane a lot lighter and everything, we could probably do that. But that is, it's just, it's too easy. That's too easy. Um, let's see here. Okay, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do one more here. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Yeah, I deployed the air brakes too late. Once I know that I've got the, uh, the carrier deck made, that's, I mean, you just gotta, air brakes out, flaps fully down. Unfortunately, my air brake button is on a different part of my keyboard. I have to, <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a to-do. Oh, wow, we're already, it's, I'm not even gonna be able to reach the battle before this is over. Dang it. I'm in route, everybody. Are there other live players in here? I mean, there definitely were. Hunt to Hunt is still around somewhere, it looks like. All right, yeah, 30, 32, 33 kilometers away. I'm not even going to get there. <laughs> All right. This is going to be, this is probably going to be the last one, which is unfortunate given that I'm not even going to reach the bad guys. I didn't call the ball. Yeah, the LSO wizards. They weren't interested. This thing's got some weight to it. Which is good. I mean, given the, you know, we've got right in the middle there, we've got uh, right in the middle there, we've got uh, three 2,000-pound bombs. Let's see here. I would definitely say that we've got an asymmetric weight load here. I, I mean, I, I'm guessing that the Mavericks are heavier than we would have over here. I don't know. I should really do some more dogfighting with asymmetric bomb loadouts <laughs> over in... Over in DCS, I gotta, I gotta get back to that. Ah, oh, good, good. Only, uh, only 21 kilometers to the battle now. I'm practically there. It is uh, Iodachi has the uh, has the A10. It is, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, the gun is appropriately extremely awesome uh it's a 9.7 so and it costs 60 dollars just to buy this a10a and so it's it's not really gonna I, i'm i'm not i'm not gonna buy it um but you know if you do play a lot of high tier this could be great and someone had commented that there will be a uh an a10c that will be in the tech tree at some point so that'll be good Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. 12 kilometers to some bad guys. I suspect once we shoot down those two bad guy planes, three if you go off to the left with Cryptic Ace, that's going to end the battle because they won't have any pilots left. Rexus boy out there. Probably a real player. Are there any ground targets near me? No. Nope. Zombie, this is the dev server. So I'm I'm on a, a server that is just for uh, it's it's for like d developer troubleshooting and whatnot. They invite all their content creators. The A10 won't be playable in the in like the launch version of the game until some point in the future. We don't know exactly when. 
Oh, man. Gosh, this thing is fun in, oh, in uh, air to air. I'll tell you that. Okay. Gonna beat that first bomb to the ground, unfortunately. So we gotta pull up and get out of here. No, not even any hits. Not even any hits. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. Bring it back. All right. 2,000 pounders. Let's see what a couple 2,000 pounders can do here. Climb. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got two fighters over there. We got one fighter over there. Oh. Cryptic Ace. Rexus boy out doing some work. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we get, we get, uh, you're right. We get access to stuff. You know, War Thunder actually posted on Twitter about the dev server, so... It seems like they're inviting a lot of people just to come come in here and probably stress test and just make sure the A-10 isn't wildly OP or something. Um, so that's that's good. Uh, Little Gecko with the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Did that plane just crash. What is happening? You need some you need some help? You guys need some help with this MIG? I got you. Rexus. Rexus is going in. <laughs> you can see the you can see the Gowait firing from back here. Yeah, dev dev server just went open uh, for this. Like they turn it on and off, so they turned it on to test the A10 stuff like earlier today. Uh, so like probably 13, 14 hours ago, uh, at least here in the United States. Silver Jackal, good to see you. I'm not going to be able to catch that MiG-21 Rexus. Outside of missile range, too. All right. I'll head back in here. I am not going to be able to fly fast enough to catch that thing. <laughs> Certainly looks like it's flying. Oh, I am R2-D2 coming in in the uh, F-86. That's... that's probably a bot <laughs> okay hang on we can do this we can do this we saw I need better ground reference hang on all right straight in front of me there's one oops oh, come on that yeah there you go no, no, yeah. Will it hit? I kind of think we might end up taking out that tree. Ooh, we got it. All right. I still got some heavy bombs here, so let's see what we can do with those. Boop. No unguided bombs. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Damaged a lot of our plane with that explosion. In hindsight, might not have been the best idea. Uh oh. Distinct... <laughs> there would be grass on the tail. There would be grass on the tail at this point. We have a distinct lack, lack of functionality of some control surfaces at this point. All right. <laughs> An R2 uh, modification. Oh, yeah, okay, we still got a little bit of rudder. It just whines at you when you've locked on. I mean, it would be awful. It would be awful. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah, I forgot, forgot about the second reticle. That's my bad. My rockets may not be able to harm you, <laughs> but everything else can. <laughs> oh, Andrew. All right, we had somebody else chasing us there. But yeah, I mean, even look at this. You know, they've already got the Apache in the game. So, like, they, they're adding the A-10 now, which is great. Everybody's been excited. That's been, like, legendary. Like, what's 
what's the next big thing? You know, where, where do they go from here? I don't know. F F14, you think? I mean, that'll be, that'll be fun for the, the air to air dog fighting. Sure. Incorporate some Phoenix or something like that. Oh, the B-26B, image in progress. That's something new, it seems. Okay. I can't, I can't even, okay. I don't even, I don't even know, guys. I don't, I don't care about any of this. Just let me, let me buy the aircraft so I can move on. There we go. Um, a, a bigger, faster F-5E, yeah. Tomcat, Hornet, and then SU-25. I just, it's, it's just going to be a dogfight simulator at that point. Like those, those are, you know, it's, it's going to be even more just supersonic aircraft ignoring the ground targets. Um, so I just, I just don't know. Yeah. Bear Phoenix has a hundred mile range and can deploy, uh, uh, in real life. It, it's, I, I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah. Missile thunder for is, is what it is. Car lover. Yeah, I hear you there. Give <laughs> give the jet to the dog. I agree. The typhoon that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, introduce it without the phoenix. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, I kind of. I don't know. I'm sure they have a plan, but you know, this is gonna be a big cash influx. You know, people just excited to go buy this thing. And then, you know, what's what's the next big cash influx for them? I don't know. I don't know. Probably be some ship. Some some boat or something. Who knows? Something crazy. Um, if you guys haven't yet, don't forget to, uh, you know, hit follow, all that sort of thing. I always appreciate it. I'm primarily a YouTube content creator, so be sure to check out the YouTube channel. I'm probably going to be posting a video, just some initial impressions tomorrow morning. Um, what time is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably tomorrow morning I'll be able to get one. Um, just more chatting about this. And then I upload all of my streams over to the Nodak Express Long Plays channel. 30mm <laughs> brake test. Ah, oh, goodness. Maybe uh, th this dev server is open all weekend. So we'll, we'll see what the response is like to the initial A10 video. And then maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream something like that tomorrow. I don't know. Um, War Thunder. I played it last night and it was exhausting and, and, uh, played it again to this evening and it's, it's just exhausting again. You know, the people just going for kills and camp and spawn and everything like, ugh, goodness gracious. Yeah. The frog foot. They could, they could definitely go with the frog foot. But, um, if you guys haven't yet, uh, don't, uh, don't forget to follow and that sort of thing. Uh, check out the YouTube channel if you're bored sometime. Connect with me on Twitter and Facebook, all that sort of thing. But, uh, I do appreciate everybody sticking around this evening, checking checking this out. Yeah, test flight area, exactly. That's that's where I spent some time today, just sorting out my controls. Um, so, hope to see everybody later on this weekend. I'm not sure. I, I'll probably stream on Saturday night. I don't know what. I've still been playing a lot of Elden Ring. I've had an Elden Ring on the mind recently. Looking looking forward to that. Yeah, give give the dog some pets. Absolutely, I w I will do that. You're gonna go take a quick twelve hour nap, car lover. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Hope everybody has a great weekend. It's uh, the weekends, man. Once once you're working and you know with school and everything, just weekends are great. But the problem with weekends is the Monday's right around the corner. You know, Ugh, goodness gracious bear with the follow thank you very much bear welcome welcome uh, to the channel welcome 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 yeah casey absolutely get get some sleep it is important all righty everybody well have a great weekend if i don't see you again and of course thanks for watching